Dead at all. Okay. That's Sounds access good. Access talking out. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. So this is Brandon Burkhart, president of This Is Texas Freedom Force. And we're here today with Dr. Tim Wesley, candidate for the General Land Office, or General Land Commissioner. And we wanted to talk to Dr. Wesley because of an article that came out by the Texas Scorecard that listed all of the candidates for Texas Land Commissioner. And they asked him about the Alamo, except they left out the most important guy, which is Dr. Tim Wesley who has been there to fight with us over the Alamo Cenotaph and to, uh, actually the night that we held the Alamo. So Dr. Tim Wesley, Texans want to know that the Reimagine the Alamo project is threatening the 1836 uh, battle as well as the Alamo defenders who fought that battle. What would you do if elected to be able to uh, skirt that or stop the Reimagine the Alamo project? As we look at the Real Imagine Alamo project, we know that the Texas Land Commissioner's office and the General Land Commissioner uh, himself has a lot of say in this because, again, it's overseeing it. So I, I just put a halt to it. Um, I understand history as the historian for the Republican Party of Texas. One of the platforms I have been on and some of the things that I use is the story of the Alamo, is the story of the Alamo defenders. And so to see it change would be an atrocity because not only will it change history, but it will change the tra uh, trajectory of of our future with future generations. Imagine children, the next generation not having a clue as to what the Alamo is, what it stands for, what the Cenotaph stands for, simply because someone wants to reimagine it. It's what they want to do actually, instead of reimagine, they want to rewrite history. They want to change it up that's going to be suitable to them. And in time, we won't have a clue as to what's going on with the Alamo in the past. And so I want to make sure we protect that and that would be one of my uh, main focuses because I've been on the ground grassroots doing it right now. There's no reason I'm going to change uh, direction by the time I'm elected as the next general land office commissioner. And so we know that the Texas Historical Commission has said that the Alamo Cenotaph will not be moved. Uh, was there any further steps or that you would take if elected to ensure that that monument never gets moved? Yes, we have to make sure that we continue to be a voice for the people. I, I'm, I'm a true believer that the General Land Office and the Commissioner, whoever's running, and I pray that it's me, has to be a voice for the people. The people have already spoken. They said, leave it alone, do not touch, do not move these things. And so we have to make sure we keep projecting that to the public. And also, I'll use this platform to make sure that anyone that's trying to move and anyone that's trying to reimagine Alamo, they'll get all the attention they want so that the people will be able to reelect or elect someone else rather than get them out of those seats. So I'll protect them. I'll put them, as we say, I'll put them on blast. I'll let, make sure that the world knows these are the people that's trying to destroy history. These are the people that's trying to move the cenotaph and ultimately destroy it. These are the people that's trying to rewrite history. What are you going to do about it? And I'll encourage citizens to vote them out of those seats. And what are your thoughts about the monument protection bill? I think that it should have gone through. I fought for that as well during the le last legislative session. I was able to travel around the great state of Texas as part of a, a platform with the Republican Party of Texas and speak on behalf of the Monument Protection Bill. I think that it should pass, it should go through, and I think that it shouldn't have had this much of uh, complications or this many complications moving through. And so I'll be an advocate for the Monument Protection Bill because if we can protect the Alamo, if we can protect San Jacinto, if we can protect all the monuments throughout the great state of Texas, in essence, we'll be protecting history. We'll be making sure that the next generation can appreciate what we've come to appreciate. And I think that ultimately we have a job to do and we have to motivate, ignite the people, but we also have to make sure we use platforms like this, not to be in a gray area, but to be specifically one direction. And that's to let the people know we've heard you and we're going to act. And as the next leader of the land commissioner's office, that's what I'll be doing. Well, Dr. Wesley, Texans, thank you all over the state for helping fight for the Alamo and the Alamo Cenotaph. Where yes, can sir. Texans find you at now that you're on the campaign? They can find me at my website, which is Texans, the number four, Tim, T-E-X. A-N-S, the number four, T-I-M dot com, Tim dot com. If you Google me, I tell people all the time I'm the most transparent candidate you'll find. I'm the most diverse candidate you'll find having a background in multiple areas to match up and also go above and beyond what's required as the commissioner for the general land office. All right, anything else that you'd like to add, sir? 
you have a fighter on your hands. I'll be listening to we the people. I'll take the fight to the people in Austin and beyond. As I mentioned to people here recently, I'm not in a box, so I do not have to think outside of the box because I never went in it. You're going to have a fighter on your hand that's going to listen to you. People in Austin may not love me. They may not love me in Washington neither because I'm going beyond the state capitol here in the great state of Texas to fight for the people of Texas, but you will love me. True grassroots conservatives, true grassroots patriots will love me because I've already proven that I can fight because I've been fighting and there's no reason for me to quit now. Thank you very much, Dr. Wesson. Thank you.